All right, so you want to be a freelance web designer and developer, but should you be a full stack developer or should you specialize either in the front end or the back end of a website? What's the best career path as a freelancer? That's what I'm going to cover in this video. Hi, I'm Joel, creator of pixelweb.com and devwp, which is a WordPress development training theme. My goal in this video is to help you identify which is the better strategy for freelancers. The advice I give here is going to be a little bit different than someone who is going to go for a corporate job or work for a design agency. All right, so first let's cover some of the basics. What is a front-end designer and developer? A front-end designer is someone who specializes on the front-end of a website. This is what people see when they visit a website. They'll see the images, they'll see the typography, they'll see how the actual website responds based on the device that's visiting the site itself. This is called responsive design and generally is part of front-end design and development. Typically, this is all centered around HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and you could also use jQuery, and you could also use React, Vue, or AngularJS. But basically, this is front-end design and development. Now, let's segue into back-end development. This is where the processing is happening on the server side. What happens when a person visits a website? What pages are going to be dynamically generated based on the content they're viewing? Is it a blog post? Is it a page? What type of layout is going to be displayed? Yes, the layout is pretty much configured by the front end, but the back end can determine what template is going to be used. What happens when a person fills out a contact form? How does that information get saved in the database? What languages are used here? Typically it's PHP, Python, you could use Node.js, and you're going to use some type of database like MySQL or MariaDB or any other database that works with a dynamic coding language. That's a back-end developer. Now, a full stack is someone who knows the front-end of web design and development along with the back-end of web design and development. And then they also know Linux server administration or how to work with a web server via the command line. Now, obviously, becoming a full stack is a lot more time-consuming. It's a little bit more difficult. Actually, it's a lot more difficult. And being a specialist, either in front-end or back-end, can also take a significant amount of time since you're doing a deep dive on one particular aspect but as a freelancer this is my belief as a freelancer you're going to want to become a full stack and the reason is when a person comes to you or a business comes to you to develop or design a website they're not going to care whether you know html or css or if you're using php or python what database you're using what content management system you're using what they want is a website they don't want half of a website. They don't want a nice static front end with nothing happening on the back end. Neither do they want something happening on the back end, but it looks horrible on the front end. They want a combination of the two. That's why being a full stack is instrumental as a freelancer. Now, as I previously said, becoming a full stack developer takes a significant amount of time. So in the beginning, you're going to be specializing. You're going to learn your HTML. You're going to learn your CSS. You're going to learn JavaScript. You're going to learn JavaScript jQuery. You might learn React or Vue.js or AngularJS. You might learn Node.js. You might learn PHP or Python. You're going to learn how to interact with either a MySQL database or a MariaDB database, which is pretty much interchangeable. You're going to learn how to set up a website on a server, either with shared hosting or with a VPS. VPSs are much better. They perform better typically. You're going to get to know the command line interface, how to interact with a server via SSH. That is key and instrumental in order to be an efficient developer. But you're going to do this step by step. And in another video, I give you a guideline on how you can become a full stack web developer in one year. Now, that being said, it does take time to become a master coder, especially if you're trying to learn multiple languages. What I recommend is not to learn every language at once. You're going to confuse yourself. The syntax is going to be a little bit different with each language. First, learn the basics about HTML. Do a deep dive in it. Don't worry about the website looking phenomenal at first. What you want to do first is get the fundamentals down packed. Learn how to lay out a website based on the semantics markup. Learn about HTML5. Learn about the canvas. Learn about how you can use HTML 
to set up the skeleton of your website. And then from there, the natural progression is to learn CSS. Learn how you can style your website properly. Now, CSS is like the skin of a website where HTML is like your skeleton. So you don't wanna make sure with CSS, you learn about how you can use colors properly, how you can use color schemes, the different types of fonts you could use on your website, how you could use responsive design to make sure your website looks good on every single device. And then from there, you take it to the next level. You learn the JavaScript, you learn the jQuery, you learn the other libraries and frameworks associated with JavaScript. Then you'll learn PHP or Python and MySQL. But give yourself time. During your progression, you're gonna need to make money. So that's where you're gonna start using templates early on. And this is okay, you're gonna charge accordingly. You can use frameworks, front-end frameworks, and back-end frameworks and libraries, but the ideal solution is to make sure you can start making money with what you know at that point in time while consistently leveling up, learning new coding languages, learning how they can all work together. So in essence, the answer is, if you're a freelancer and you wanna make money as a web developer and designer, the key thing to know is that being a full stack is gonna guarantee you more future success than just being a front-end developer or a back-end developer. Yes, you can make money just knowing one aspect, and sometimes knowing just the front-end or knowing just the back-end and going deep and understanding how they work and the languages associated with it, how those work, sometimes that could be better for your career, and that's because you could actually master a particular language. But again, if you're a freelancer, not working for a company, not working for an agency, a person or a business is going to come to you to develop a website, not just the front of it, not just the back of it. They're gonna want a complete package. That's why I recommend take the time, study, practice your coding skills on a daily basis, and make coding part of your lifestyle. There's nothing more liberating than being able to work from anywhere. As long as you have a laptop and an internet connection, you could work from home, you could work from the library, you could work from Starbucks, you could work from the park as long as they have Wi-Fi. You could work anywhere. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to share my thoughts on why becoming a full stack developer is fundamental for freelance web designers and developers. Learning the front end is part of the process. Learning the back end is part of the process. But if you want to be in this for the long run, become a full stack. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification icon, leave your comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Happy coding.